Hi, Craig Sigel, the mental toughness trainer. I'd like to tell you a story about John, a 13-year-old basketball player. Now, John had been playing basketball since he was eight years old, and he absolutely loved the sport, just like you. And his coach is commenting on how hard he always worked to improve his game, and how he was an inspiration to his teammates. However, John hadn't been getting as much playing time lately as he used to. He still worked as hard as ever to fine-tune his shot and, and advance his ball handling skills, but you know, not getting played had uh, affected his mood on and off the court. His mom had noticed that, the, that he was more grumpy and less patient with his little sister. John asked his coaches what he needed to do to get more playing time, and they told him he looked timid out there on the court and that he needed to get more aggressive. Now this made John feel frustrated and stuck. He asked his dad how he suggested that uh, he get more aggressive, and his dad, his dad recommended what worked for him, to carry himself with a certain confident swagger, which made him more confident on the court and therefore more aggressive. Now this advice actually confused John even more because he didn't remember acting like that when he was a star of the team a year ago. It just seemed like back then everything came naturally to him. And what John isn't realizing is that his problems began when he started to adopt a perfectionist mindset. And somewhere between being the starter and leading the team and scoring and, and today's troubles, John taught himself that he had to be perfect. And this mindset eventually started affecting his game. As a mental trainer, I hear the word perfectionist used by some people as a sort of badge of honor that they feel proud of. Unfortunately, though, as you can see with John, trying to be perfect causes all sorts of problems. The problems show up when the perfectionists fail to achieve perfection, and then they beat themselves up for it. They start by overanalyzing the game, picking apart their mistakes, and, and thinking a bunch of negative thoughts about themselves. And this leads to playing scared, because they're in fear that they'll make a mistake. It's a self-defeating, never-ending cycle. Think about it. Can you ever achieve perfection in anything? Are there any perfect players out there? In fact, in most sports, players make many mistakes and still win. In baseball, getting 3 out of 10 hits is a huge success. In basketball, most pros only make about 50% of the shots they take. Are you getting the picture? In every sport, we expect to make more mistakes than we do things right. Failures are acceptable and you can still win. If you're a perfectionist, you're expecting something that is impossible and setting yourself up for repeated failure. It's a formula for mental weakness. Thinking you need to be perfect puts you in a state of constant fear of not getting it right. It's much better to set goals for yourself that are achievable, but a bit of a stretch. And there's a subtle but powerful difference between these two thoughts. See if you can see the difference in these two sentences. I'm a perfectionist and I must do everything perfectly. Or, I strive for perfection, but I don't have to be perfect. You see, sentence two gets you where you want to go by allowing you to be human while still striving for continuous improvement. Sentence one, well, that was John until he came to see me. I'm Craig Sigel, your mental toughness trainer.